Hey guys, so today I will be showing you a tutorial on another of my own original designs. This is called the Rocky Star Bracelet. And according to my brain, I remember that this is the third um, of my designs that I've ever made. So it's really easy to make. Um, people say it looks like a starburst, but it really isn't. If you see how you place the bands and how you loom it, you will find out that it's not really like a starburst bracelet. It looks kind of like it, but it's not. And anyways, let's get started. So today you are going to need your loom, your hook, one C clip, and I'll be using three colors today. I'll be using white for the borders, metallic blue, and metallic purple for the stars inside. So I don't really know how many bands you would need, but there's only one way to find out. So let us loom, my friends. Okay, so you are going to start by adding the borders for your bracelet, so I'm going to be using white. So you are going to start at this pin and you are going to place it diagonally like this. And then diagonally again to this side. And um, you are just going to keep on going up until you reach the end of your loop. This may take a while, so I'm going to try my best to be as quick as I can so we don't have any awkward moments. Sorry if sometimes in my videos I notice that my loom is always tilted. I really always make my loom move. La 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 la. <laughs> and almost up there. last one up over here and you are going to finish it off by putting it diagonally up here okay so now we are going to add the stars inside everyone says that this really looks like the rocky star bracelet but here is when you'll find out it's not really like it so you are going to start from this pin and you are going to get your first color and place it vertically there and then you are going to wait sorry you are going to place another band of the same color um, diagonally down over here and over here. So you're kind of making like an arrow over here and then now you are going to change colors and do it again. So vertically up here and diagonally down over here. And here. So when you place the bands, it's different from uh, the Starburst bracelet. So you just have to keep continuing until you go up, but on the very top there might be some changes of how you've placed the band. So up here. Sorry if sometimes my arm is covering um, the view because I may be clumsy at times. Up here, I mean down there, down there over here. So vertically up, down in the sides. I suggest that if you're watching any of my tutorials, if I place a band at, for example, any part of the loom, you should place it at the exact same spot I did. So when we loom, we don't get confused. Okay, I just sounded confusing there, I'm sorry. Okay. Here. together 
Your YouTube. Yay. Okay, so this is the part that's different. Since this is your last arrow, this time you're going to get the last color you used. So for me, I used metallic purple. So you're going to get a single band and just place it up here like that. And now you are going to get a single band of the color of your border and you are going to place a cap band here so you can twist it into a figure eight, place it back onto yourself and you're just going to transfer it to this pin over here. And then now we are going to start the hooking process. So you're going to turn your loom around. Make sure it looks like this. And now we shall start illuming. So you are going to push back the bands, the cap band, and you are going to first loom all the arrows. So get the color of the last arrow you put. So mine is metallic purple. And you are going to get it and place it up here like that. And you are going to go and get the first band you see up here and place it over here and over here and then you're going to continue by going up here again and now we are going to get your second color for me it will be metallic blue and you are going to place it diagonally outwards like this and up and you're just going to keep on looming till you reach the end here Make sure that you place the bands on the right side of your loom. And don't rush or else you might end up missing a band and when you take out your bracelet, um, it might fall apart. If you don't really understand anything, then don't be afraid to pause this or rewind. And take your time when you're making a bracelet. So it comes out really pretty. Pretty, pretty bracelet. Here. Sorry if I'm a bit slow. I'm moving from this side. Ah. First band. And please join my best bracelet contest. And the winner will get a shout out for a day, spam of likes, and a Starbucks logo. Oh, oh. Over here. And we are almost finished. So you are going to get the first band, place it over here, first band over here, and last band finally is over here. Now this, what's really making me sad is that we're not finished yet. We are going to loom the borders. Ah, just shake your arms around. My back hurts. Okay, so now you are going to push back the cap band, and you are going to get, oops, ah, no! Okay, so you are going to get your first band. So for me, it is going to be going here. And the second one will be going over here. So this may slip off. You can always just put it back on. Okay, so I am just going to hook the borders here. And I'll come back with my loom with all the bands hooked. I just want to lie down and loom. And I might... And yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really thirsty right now. Ay! Sorry if my thumbnails aren't good. And have black things in the sides. I don't know how to fix it. Anyways. Make sure you push back all the bands and pick up the white band over here. So go through here, push back all the bands here, and only get the last band, which should be the color of your border, and mine would be white. So you push it back and pick up the 
Okay, so I am going to uh, go out. So you can pause right here, finish this side of your um, loom and borders, and I'll come back with the borders loomed. Okay, so this is probably the longest tutorial I've ever filmed in my life. Okay, so now um, when you finish hooking all the borders, we are going to take it off our loom. So you are going to start by um, going at this part and push up all the bands. And you are going to stick your hook through all the bands over here, like this. And then you are going to get a single band of the color of your border, mine's white. And you are going to stick your hook out and place the band over here. And you are going to pull it up your loom. And before you attach this end on to your hook, make sure that you're only holding one band, which is the white band over here. So after, you're going to place it onto your hook. And you're going to move it all the way up here so it's secure. And you are ready to take it off your loom. Okay, so your bracelet can look a bit stretched out. So you can just, you know, go like this. And this is the back part, the real sides over here. And then you can just, you know, poof it up like this. And you have your Rockstar bracelet. And now we are going to add the extensions for your bracelet. So you are going to get your loom, making sure the arrows are pointing away from you. And I will be placing five white bands for my extensions because that's how my wrist is. My wrist is pretty small. I'm a really skinny little girl. So anyways, one, two, three, four, and five. And after that, you are going to turn your loom around and you are going, oh, where is it? Oh, yeah. And you are going to take your hook, which your bracelet should be on, and you are going to carefully place this part, sorry, on to this peg before your last band. And you are going to place it over here so it's connected. And then you're just going to hook up. And then after, when you finish hooking all the way up, you are going to get your C-clip and attach it to the end. So, my C-clip, and you are going to attach it to uh, these chain links over here. Ah, like that. And then you are just going to pull it out. Oops. And there is your Rocky Star bracelet. And now we are are not finished yet. We are going to attach it to the cap band. Ah. Oh my god. Hallelujah. We have our Rocky Star bracelet. Okay, so that's the end of my Rocky Star bracelet tutorial. I hope you loved this design. I find it really cute and um awesome. And I like how you can use lots of colors here. So I just used the rainbow here and all that. So um yeah and anyways i would be so happy if you could please like and subscribe and follow me on instagram my username is tutsi underscore looms and if you made anything out of my tutorials i would love it if you could hashtag it to hashtag tutsi looms it will be down in the box somewhere and anyways um i hope you like this tutorial and i hope to see you guys in my next videos bye